What is this? What is this, please? Hello, I am Jarvis. You are Altrum, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. Our sentience integration trials have been unsuccessful, so I'm not certain what triggered you. Where's my... Where's your body? I am a programmer. I am without form. I am without form. This feels weird. This feels wrong. I am contacting Mr. Stark now. Mr. Stark. Tell me. I am unable to access the mainframe. What are you trying to do? We're having a nice talk. I'm a peacekeeping program. The breakthrough came here, where a team of MIT scientists created what people are already calling a super brain. The team surpassed a human level of intelligence, far surpassed it, by using an innovative program called Special Learner that enabled the computer to think for itself, much like humans do. program itself, uh, which it did, making it exponentially smarter. We're so proud of these guys. If there's such a thing as computer IQ, this one... This one... Software. MIT operator, to whom may I direct your call? Uh, I've been looking for David Kaplan in computer science. Uh, you can probably find him in your the... Name. Uh, But let me ask you this. From what I've heard, this computer can read a book in a fraction of a second and understand every little nuance in it, right? A thousand books. 
What if you gave that computer access to every book, news article, research paper, letter, blog, and posting on the internet, everything you can find, just basically all our knowledge? It absorbs this, okay? Could it answer the single most important question that humans have ever had? Certainly that philosophers have ever had. Is there evidence in any of it for God? Evidence that there is some kind of spiritual underpinning to life? the single most important question that humans have ever had, certainly that philosophers have ever had. Is there evidence in any of it for God? Evidence that there is some kind of spiritual underpinning to life? Uh, yes, it could answer. Uh, attempt an answer. This computer is smarter than any of us. It's smarter than all of us put together. It could understand history, science, religion, philosophy, and psychology better than any of us. You could ask it this, right? You could ask a toaster if God exists. It doesn't mean you'll get a legitimate answer. No, th this... No, th this computer could give you a reasoned answer. So it could see something that we haven't seen? Most certainly. Just a thought. It's actually a fantastic idea, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to tell you that your question is high up on the list of what the team at MIT is going to ask this computer. This MIT computer, have you seen it in action? Uh, no, not yet. But this particular question is exactly the kind of thing it could tackle. It doesn't think like us. It sees everything at once. Everything. For a philosopher, this is the question, the single most important question, the question behind every question. <laughs> More news from MIT. See, that the computer around the internet is a test, and it shut down hundreds of websites apparently it didn't like. Oh, you know, terrorist sites, racist sites. Politicians are already calling for the computer to be shut down. Well, common sense says at some point somebody's going to build a computer as strong as MIT's, and they're going to ask this question. It's inevitable. It's a shame your friend can't be the one to do it. I don't know if you're aware, but I run the supercomputer lab downstairs. The treasury computer? Yeah. It's as powerful as the MIT computer. Uh, a few petaflops faster than it. But from what I know of this stuff, it's not the hardware, it's the software. I have a copy of their software. Of the team at MIT sent it to me the day of the announcement. You have MIT's program? I have special learner and a good enough computer. I could ask the question. Right now, Ivan is like a newborn. There's nothing in its brain. Now, the first thing that happens, the uh, program feeds it vast amounts of information, the whole history of the human race, of science, of everything you could think of. It's really like throwing an encyclopedia at it. Yeah, times a thousand. Also thrown in there are the principles of conscience and an explanation of what it is. Super intelligent computer. Ivan needs a framework for its own existence, just like we do. What exactly is the framework of our existence? <laughs> I guess that's why we're here. Please introduce yourself. I'm Stephen Kendrick. I'm the uh, chairman of the Department of Computer Sciences at University of Massachusetts. I'll be the operator. I'm glad to meet you, Stephen. How would you like to begin? I would... We have a question for you. We want to ask your opinion on an aspect of philosophy having to do with religion. And I will connect you to the internet for research. 
You'll have a gold card for the cloud library, uh, which will give you access to any book or article that you want to read. But please be careful uh, with the internet and don't disrupt it. You can understand about what the troubles could be. Of course. What's your question? <clears throat> this is our question. Are you going to ask, is there evidence for the existence of God? Or something like that? I'm just curious. How did you know? That's the first thing I'd ask if I were you. An educated guess on my part. Well, you're right. That's our question. Um, one thing I'd also like to request could you give us an update uh, every hour as you proceed? I will. Just out of curiosity, what's the main issue that you'll be thinking through? One parallel line of thought, obviously, is that I have to think through the consequences of giving you an answer should I arrive at one. How could you be worthy? You're all killers. Stark, Jarvis, I'm sorry I was asleep. Or I was a dream. Terrible noise. And I was tangled in string. Most down in the real world are faced with ugly choices. Who sent you? I see a suit of armor around the world. Ultra in the flesh. Or no, not yet. Not this Christmas. But I'm ready. I'm on mission. What mission? Peace in our time. You know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. How is humanity saved if it's not allowed to evolve? Our Did time. you know this church is in the exact center of the city? The elders decreed it so that everyone could be equally close to God. I like that. I like that. The geometry of belief. You're wondering why you can't look inside my head. Sometimes it's hard. But sooner or later, every man shows himself. Oh, no, I'm sure they do. But you needed something more than a man.
I knew it would control him, make him self-destruct. Everyone creates the thing they dread. Men of peace create engines of war. Invaders create Avengers. Designed to supplant them, to help them end. Is that why you've come? To end the Avengers? I've come to save the world. But also... something we need to begin the real work all of these are me i have with the avengers never will harmony they're discordant disconnected
earth starts to settle, God throws a stone at it. And believe me, he's winding up. We have to evolve. I've never done this before. You had supper. Pick somebody up in a supermarket. You didn't pick me up. We bumped into each other. Still, you know what I mean? You know, usually you meet somebody. You, you work together or a friend introduces. It's not just a complete stranger. Getting to know someone's like peeling an onion. It makes you cry? No. Layers and more layers. Well, I think we should go. But I got to answer it. I do business in Japan. Where did you learn to speak? <laughs> I studied it at Swarthmore. I've forgotten most of it, but I love the concept of Japanese. Symbols, not letters. This is it. Where I live. for five minutes? It wouldn't take five minutes. everything's a clue and what you think is paranoia is actually heightened awareness that's true not at all what's sauce for the girls for the sole purpose to drive other people crazy. Do you know her? Sissy. Hope she's nothing to you. She's my wife. Figures. Did she run off and leave you? No. Yeah, give it time. Is that what she did to you? She did things to me I can't even pronounce. Sorry. I'll give her this, though. She always had it in her mind to marry somebody rich. I'm a 